Hello fellow food foragers, Camille Laveau from Food Foraging Australia. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Now, today I'm here with this lovely plant, which is the sow thistle. Now, the reason why they call it the sow thistle is because historically it was used to help fatten up pigs. Um, so this entire plant is edible uh, and the leaves. Now, I know this is a type of thistle because if you look over here at this specimen, uh, you can see that the the leaves are fringed with these little thorns. Not thorns, but little prickles. And also, the leaves actually skirt the entire, well, not the entire, but also skirt the stem, if you can see there. Whereas a lot of people confuse this for dandelion, and dandelion won't have those two features. It won't have the thorns on the edges uh, of the leaves, and it also doesn't skirt a main stem, whereas uh, the dandelion actually grows from a central rosate um, setting or, or root structure. Now, in New Zealand, uh, this is known as puha, and the flowers of the south thistle are used as a Panadol-like analgesia. So you'd pick all the flowers and you can eat them either raw or boil them into a tea. Uh, and then it'll give you some Panadol-like analgesic effects. Now, another feature of the south thistle is that the actual stem of the plant is always rosy pink or purplish. So when you have all three of these features, so a dandelion-like flower with leaves surrounded or have uh, thorns on the edges or prickles on the edges and a purplish pinkish hued stem then you know you've got yourself a sow thistle and again the entire plant is edible raw or cooked so there you have it folks i hope you enjoyed it again please like and subscribe and happy foraging thank you